Hey guys, it's your single mom Jessica. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of what my mornings look like with currently a newborn baby and a two year old little toddler. Um, right now me and Max are having some blueberry waffles. Um, I just gave her one and she's also having some grapes. She's on her little tablet. <laughs> Punching these little kids. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to sit Jets in his swing, which I know won't be successful, but I'm gonna try, um, see if I can eat a little bit. I have a lot to do today. And this is how my room is looking, guys. Yeah, I've been, I took my bed out because honestly it was taking too much space, mental space. It was fucking thick as hell. And it was already on the floor, so like, I don't know, it was just already kind of like too much going on in here so actually what I well what I've been doing since last night is I'm just gonna fold up these sheets and just have like all this open area for you know Max my daughter to walk around you know just make it more like inviting I guess and then yeah I just feel like it's just easier to be in here with that bed out of here this is how big the bed was Look at this big ass bed. I don't know if you can kind of get how thick it is, but let's see. Let me show you. It was a very big bed in there. So I think it's a size, it's a full or queen, I'm not sure. But yeah, so definitely had to take that out. And now I feel like a lot more, it's just easier to be in my room now. But yeah, that's besides the point. All right. Um, I have to pee. I haven't even gotten a chance to pee yet. Um, yeah, as soon as I wake up, I change jets and I get Max ready. Max ends up waking soon after, so I have to. I'm potty training, so I gotta take Max to the to the doctor. Oh my gosh, to the bathroom. So let me go ahead and try to put jet, jets down, and then I'm gonna use the restroom. And depending on how he's feeling, I'm gonna eat this little ass waffle. Okay, he's doing pretty good in there. I'm gonna get a little blanket for him. Isn't he so freaking cute? This is a three to six month shirt. <laughs> He's literally not even two weeks old. But like, I like it. It's like oversized vibe. It's my little USA boy. Can't wait till I have like money, money, and I can like take the kids to Disney World and stuff. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited for all that. To make those kind of fun memories with my kids, travel, take them shopping, eating out. I love that. I, that's like the best times I have with my daughter is when we're eating out because I'm chill she gets her food fresh food on the spot it tastes good so it's a win-win for everybody and guys can we talk about how fucking annoying breastfeeding is I'm at the point where I'm done complaining about my milk supply because my milk supply is there it's just baby's just like he just likes to cry. Like he's like, I don't know if it's a boy thing. He just likes to cry, man. Cause I'll give him my breast and he'll start crying. So I'm like, oh, maybe he's still hungry. So then I'll give him uh, some formula, and he'll be like, eh. <laughs> Sometimes he'll drink it. So I'm like, okay, maybe he was a little bit hungry and needs a little bit more. But like, y'all, I tried to stop breastfeeding last night, and my boobs hurt so bad. Like they were so full and like hard. They were just dripping milk, dripping milk. I was like, and then I kind of got lazy. I was like, okay, well, considering I'm trying to stop, well, I guess I need to make him a bottle now. I was like, fuck that, I'm not about to make a bottle. <laughs> just put him back on the breast. Let him empty them out. And yeah, so I guess breastfeeding life is the life for me because, I don't know. I'll still supplement a little bit with formula, but this is just kind of easier for me. What? What's going on? What's going on, Mr. America? Why are you crying, Mr. America? And yeah. So, my main bra, which is not even the best bra to be my main bra, but it's like the one bra I have. I've had it since my pregnancy with Max. I've been using that to like put my, the little nursing pads, because yeah, this shit leaks so bad. I need to wash that bra because the other day I wore it and I sweat so bad. So I need to wash. I need to do a whole lot. Look at, look at my laundry basket, y'all. Look at 
with this laundry basket. Obviously, it could be worse. It has been worse. But, yes, I need to wash my favorite bra because, look, everything, I literally, that's the reason I have a huge pile of clothes is because everything is, like, full of milk or piss. Like, shit is, like, still technically clean, but I'm, like, OCD, so I'm, like, oh, it has shit on piss on it and milk. And, yeah, and sleeping is so hard because of it because it's, like, now I either have to sleep with a bra or last night, because I didn't have any bras really, I had to sleep with like a towel because everything will get soaked with milk. Like if you're a breastfeeding mom, think, I'm sure you feel like this shit is so fucking annoying. Like literally I'll wake up and, my, and I even slept with a towel, two towels, because the first one ended up getting wet. And it's like shit still gets on the, mind you, I don't have a bed anymore, it fucking gets on that blanket. Yeah. Let me eat this little waffle. Let me try to like have some normal standard and sit at the table while I can. Just eat this real quick with you. I have a lot to do. The only thing I like about breastfeeding is that my boobs look really good and it's easier and my baby eats good food. A lot of the other stuff, the leaking, the letdown, the engorgement. The baby attached to you 24 7, that's annoying. But yeah, also if you're a breastfeeding mom, comment down if you have like some tips for how to like not get your milk and shit everywhere. Or also if you have a boy, how do you guys like change your son without getting piss and shit everywhere? Now that I'm on the floor, I just put like the little blanket on the floor and change him on the floor. And if he pees, it gets on the floor and no longer on my bed. But... That's the closest thing I've gotten to, like, helping manage everything. Right. Time to clean the room. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. They hate it, pretty poop. Pretty poop. Pretty poop. They hate it, pretty poop. Dear. Oh, dear. I am a little dear. Dear. I'm a dear. I'm a little, little dear.
Okay, guys, so clearly I have a little bit of stuff to do. I just have to put some stuff away. This is how my room is looking. All right, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and the vlog there. Sorry it wasn't much longer. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video, this type of content, mom content, parenting content, single mom, newborn, toddler, grocery shopping, lifestyle, well, yeah, shopping, grocery shopping. The whole thing, I do everything. Anything I do, I basically take you guys besides going to the toilet. Even sometimes I take you to the toilet with me, but yeah. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Jessica. I am your single, sober single, stay-at-home mom, entrepreneur. I have the blog called lifebyjessica.com, and I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So definitely follow me on all those platforms, and I'm also on Pinterest, so follow me on Pinterest at Life by Jessica. That's where I post all my cool content from my blog. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.